Okay. <laughs> Hi, I'm Steven Santilli, Assistant Superintendent at the Egg Harbor Township School District, and we are back with another edition of Every Hand Together, Pursuing Public Health. We are continuing our conversation in regards to teen dating, domestic violence, and sexual assault. And we are now having another guest with us, Donna DeAndrea from Avanzar. Welcome. Thank you. So we're gonna <coughs> dive right in and, and talk about your role with Avanzar. Can you please explain to the viewers uh, what sure. your role is? I um, have a multitude of different titles. I am the DVRT, which is Domestic Violence Response Team Coordinator, but also the Court and Legal um, Coordinator of the different services for victims of domestic violence and sexual assault. I also do the statistical work for victims and survivors um, within our agency as well. Okay. Um, <coughs> our focus today is going to be on domestic violence. Mm -hmm. Um, so let's start off with, with that question. Um, there, the viewers may have a lot of different <coughs> interpretations of mm -hmm. what domestic violence is or what it mm -hmm. entails. Can you please explain to the viewers what it is? Okay, domestic violence can take on many um, different shapes or um, uh, experiences for individuals, but historically we think of domestic violence as um, behaviors that are controlling in nature. Those controls can be emotional, psychological, they can be physical, and they can be sexual in nature. Um, there are different ideas around domestic violence. There's what individuals believe is domestic violence to them, and then certainly there's the legal definitions. Typically within our work, we're dealing with what an individual identifies to them to be abusive behavior. Okay. Um, and again, that can fit into any of those three categories. Okay. Um, who can experience domestic violence? Anyone. Okay. Doesn't matter what, how much money you make, it doesn't matter how, um, your educational background, doesn't matter about your career, um, or how old you are. Um, because domestic violence is really the umbrella the umbrella because, as um, you'll learn um, when we talk about domestic violence, it, can, it includes teen dating violence, it includes child abuse and neglect, elderly abuse, um, so domestic violence is just the umbrella where all these different areas of abuse take place. So <coughs> I'm also thinking that um, domestic violence doesn't just impact a particular victim. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's probably lots of victims. Yes. Um, and and unintentional victims, mm -hmm. I guess, is, is kind of how I would view it. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us the impact that um, domestic violence has on children, adolescents? Mm -hmm. um, many times, you know, um, other pe the other individuals who may not identify themselves as a victim. If you're living within that ho home or in that environment, you are a victim in some way because you you're either um, have heard what's going on you have seen what's going on um, it can affect individuals in their everyday functioning um, into that they react differently to other individuals um, and so it can affect everyone our neighbors can be affected by it as well okay um, a lot of times you often will hear um, that somebody that is in an abusive relationship or experiencing domestic violence mm -hmm. um, may choose to stay with mm -hmm. that other person. They may mm -hmm. stay in the home. Mm -hmm. um, why do victims sometimes choose that path? It's a little scary. It's scary out there not knowing if I do leave what's out there for me. Um, if it's someone who's, um, this is a partner, you know, it's the financial um, things that are the scary part. How am I going to take care of myself? If there are children involved, how am I going to provide for my children? Um, am I going to be able to pay the rent? Can I pay the mortgage? If it's a young person in a relationship where it's abusive, the same thing can occur. It may not be the financial part of things, mm -hmm. it's the emotional. Okay. If I leave, the unknown is scarier. When I stay within that environment, I know what to expect. I know how to function. But when I leave, I don't know what to expect. Okay. And so fear of the unknown. Exactly. Okay. And we know sometimes when people do leave the situation um, that sometimes domestic violence becomes more volatile when they leave the situation. Um, and that sometimes is also what their anticipation is, what's going to happen. Okay. 